Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is of course Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today is a very spontaneous sort of unboxing, sort of channel update video as I haven't updated anything on the channel or uploaded anything in the last couple of weeks. Uh, sort of due to that time of year where the Marvel Legends die down again before they build back up for the summer. And then I'm also going on holiday. So I'm going to America. I'm going to California. I'm going to Las Vegas as well, which I know is in Nevada, but basically doing a little West Coast tour, San Francisco, Los Angeles, stuff like that. And um, so all of these places I hear all you US friends talk about as in Targets and Walmarts and Walgreens, finally gonna be able to do some little sneaky toy hunts on my own in America and see what I can find. So hopefully when I get back, I'll be able to upload some content of the fun I've been having in America. But that is then, this is now, and I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I've been buying recently that I may do some reviews for on the channel if you guys are interested. But some of the stuff here I've got to show is a little bit out of date um, in regards to new Marvel Legends, but it's still Marvel Legends, so let's get into it. First thing I've got is this Phoenix 2-pack, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. Now, as you can see on mine, I have the Marvel Legends UK sticker on. So yes, I did get this from Marvel Legends UK official store. Now, if you don't know what that is, go to www.marvellegendsuk.com and pay your £10 membership. Now, you pay £10 for a year's membership, and with that, you get access to the Marvel Legends UK store that has tons of hard-to-get exclusive on Marvel Legends figures and t-shirts and loads of other UK exclusives that you can get from that store and you get a 5% discount as well for being a member as well so it's worth it it's less than it's, it's about 80p a month or something like that it's, it's ridiculous and um, so yeah no excuses if you're from the UK and you're a Marvel Legends collector or fan or you're just curious at buying a couple of figures a year it's still worth it because you save it on the 5% off anyway so yeah go to Marvel Legends UK dot com and uh, sign up and get on the store because without the store I wouldn't have got this this was never hit UK store and never picked it up at the UK sort of third party sellers because the price was high but I managed to get this for a very very good price at Marvel Legends UK now that's not a sponsorship that is just speaking from the heart I'm a collector in the UK and that's where I got it from Marvel Legends UK shout out to Luke you know who you are and um, much, much appreciated. So, never thought I'd get this. Definitely needed the updated head for my Jean Grey. So, happy to get that. That's not really my Cyclops. My Cyclops is this Jim Lee Cyclops from the X Men cartoon era. Um, so, not too excited about that, but I do very much like the alternative heads we get with uh, Jean Grey and the Phoenix Force. So, um, very much looking forward to opening that. So if you're interested in seeing a review, let me know. It is a sort of, this was out in 2017, but if you do want to see my thoughts and opinions, then uh, let me know and I might do a review. Also, what else do we have? I picked up a couple of more two packs essentially. So this is very two pack uh, orientated video, no biggie. Um, and yeah, I got some two packs from Amazon. These popped up cheap, never managed to pick these up last year. These were the only couple of two packs that I never managed to get. I had to get the Star-Lord Ego two pack for my MCU collection. You know what I'm like with the MCU. So now I have the Living Planet Ego, AKA uh, Kurt Russell, and then another Star-Lord, probably the 27th Star-Lord I now have in my collection. But still, I love Chris Pratt, so I'm not complaining too much. Had to pick this set up just to get Ego. So if you're interested in Star-Lord, let me know. Um, as I have 27 of them. Um, and then as I've already showed off, this Marvel Legends Vulture 2 pack. Now I picked this up really cheap off Amazon. Wasn't really interested in it that much, but um, for this price, couldn't say no. And yeah, the Vulture looks really good to be fair. And since we're getting Doc Ock in a wave later this year, I saw I had to get a comic version of Vulture. Even though it's not 616 accurate, this is from the Ultimate Comics, but still, it is a comic version of Vulture that um, I will have in my Sinister Six. And as you can see, that was a Walmart exclusive. And I'll be visiting Walmart very soon, as, uh, as I mentioned. So yeah, free two packs there. Um, so if you're interested in seeing reviews of any of these on the channel, please let me know and I shall review them on the channel. But they did come out last year. So there are plenty of reviews out there in the World Wide Web anyway. So you probably don't wanna to listen to me ramble. Now, what else did I buy? This one I was very excited about. Warning, spoiler alert, it is not Marvel Legends related. It's actually DC, but um, as I said, I'm not a hater. I'm a DC fan as well. And uh, 
again, it's not a spoiler that Spider-Man is, uh, not Spider-Man, Batman is one of my favourite uh, comic book fictional characters, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I picked up a beast, people, an absolute beast. The camera went out of focus. It doesn't even fit in frame. Like, it's, it's massive. Can you not see how big this box is? It's a beast. It is the RC Metal Batmobile with lights and smoke and you control it on your phone and pow. This has got to be the funnest thing I've picked up. Now, I'm a collector. I buy toys, I pose them on the shelf. I don't really get to play with them. I just like having complete sets and looking at them and creating a little world on the shelf, bringing my uh, house to life. But this, this I couldn't stop uh, playing with. I'm not going to lie to you. I've already took it out of the box. I'm not going to do a review because, again, there's reviews out there. I just wanted to show it off. And, uh, yeah, this thing is a tank. Um, if the video is probably not going to focus, but uh, I hope it is because I'm not going to go and change it now. But it's massive. I thought this would be a good collector's piece to have on my shelf, build some sort of bat cave diorama have your batman i've got an sh figure art and a mafex batman that i could do some sort of display but this this is massive this isn't fitting on my shelf i'm gonna have to build some sort of display for it but it is immense you get a batman he sits in it the lights come on the turrets turn you can control it on your phone smoke comes out the rear end honestly people if you're if you're a dc fan if you're a batman fan especially of the ben affleck recent justice league sort of style uh, then yeah, this is a beast. I did not think I'd buy this. Definitely didn't buy it for the price it originally was. I got it from Costco in the UK. So if anyone fancies getting it, it is £99 in Costco without tax. So uh, you do the math. But yeah, it is. Uh, it was worth it. I'm not going to lie. My girlfriend wasn't happy. But uh, I couldn't say no to this tank, this Batmobile. So much fun. And I've, uh, it's got a little bit dirty as I've, I've been driving it around Um in the back but uh yeah fun times people fun time i just wanted to show that off and say if you're thinking about it pull the trigger it's uh you won't regret it you won't regret it so um yeah that is some things i've picked up recently oh focus come back to me right so uh yeah as i said i'm off to america so probably no videos for a couple of weeks but i do have the infinity war two wave on pre-order so hopefully by the time i get back from america i will have that in my hands and i can start doing reviews of that as Everyone else is very excited about Infinity War. I've seen it twice already, not showing off or anything. I just really, really liked it and I needed to see it again before I went on holiday. Amazing. No spoilers or anything, but yeah, very excited to add more Infinity War figures to the collection after seeing the immense film. But as I always do, I ramble, I talk too much. But for anyone interested, that's just a little update of what I've been up to. If you're interested in seeing any reviews from these two packs that I've picked up, Phoenix, Ego, or the Vulture, then let me know and I will throw up a quick review on the channel if there is enough interest. If not, not to worry about it. Um, these are figures I'm adding to my collection. And the Batmobile is a beast. It's a beast, people, enjoy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut up. As always, you know what to do, find me on Instagram, it's Dan, do follow me there as I'll be posting all of my activities from America on my Instagram. So again, Instagram, it's Dan Who. It's the only social media account I really use in relation to the sort of fandom and collecting that I do. So uh, go and find it. And until then people, I will catch you when I come back from America and hopefully have that Infinity War Marvel Legends Wave 2 in my hands ready to review for you guys. Until then people, I shall see you on the next one. Pow.